Hello and welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is the one and only Rima Das, whose film Village Rock Stars has wowed the world and at home bagged the Swarnakamal or the Golden Lotus at the recent National Film Awards. And that's, of course, for her film Village Rock Stars as the best feature film in the country. Rima Das, welcome to my show. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you again. Yes, definitely. <laughs> welcome back, actually, to Talk Time. Now, only two Swarna Kamals have come Assam's way. The Asmis film industry is 80 plus years old. We all know 1935, uh, the legendary Jyoti Prasad Agarwala yes. uh, had his film Joy Moti. Yeah. After that, it took 55 years uh, for Janu Barua to bring the Swarna Kamal with his Halodhya Soraya Baudhan Kai, right. the catastrophe. And yes. after that, that was in 1988. And yes. after that, again, it took 30 long years before your film, Village rock stars brought back the Swarna Kamal to Assam or recognition of the Assamese cinema. Now, what does this mean? The long period? It means a lot, and it's like I'm feeling over the moon. It's like ultimate award, like I can yeah. achieve. And in India, it's like best film. And of course, I always like. I was dreaming that film will go to places, yeah. but uh, I think it's, it's wonderful to achieve. And uh, I'm a bit nervous also because it coming to this age, um, yeah, so it's, so, it's a beautiful uh, feeling. Global recognition is one thing, right. and recognition by your own country yes. is quite another. Yes, and it's, it's really great because the way we made this film, in a very limited money, in a very, yeah. very independent way. And then at India is, because when we travel to other like festivals outside, there are similar kind of films, but India is a huge country, so many films, so many yeah. language. Mm -hmm. And uh, like then you are getting uh, this high, highest award is something I think else and it really give you confidence and the youngsters also, yeah. I think. Yeah. Now, Rima, you know, uh, you had started making this film sometime in 2014 uh, and then on and on, on and on, you started continuing with your project. You were a one man army. You did everything alone, scripting from scripting mm -hmm. to costume designing, even shooting. And you are, you are not a trained filmmaker. My question is, uh, you know, the moral of the story is that this particular film has won almost all the awards available in the whole world. And you have been to all the award ceremonies. And it's so, such a pleasure watching you take those, pick up those awards. Now, now, what does it mean? It means that, I mean, the location doesn't matter. The training doesn't matter. I think, is it the honesty that matters? Honesty, content, your, what you are saying, and the craft is also matters. Because finally, it's film. So how you are telling your story. Yeah. That matters. The uh, like because I always I shot in a very small camera, like Village Rockstars was shot in Canon 5D Mark II, and one lens, one camera. So, one lens, one yes. camera. So what I uh, like realized that uh, when I'm traveling to festivals, they, no one asked me like which camera you shot, how you shot. But of course, like the quality, it matters. How you are telling the story, uh, like place. It, so it doesn't what matter. You, what have you realized in the last one year? Uh, have you realized that people are only interested in knowing the content, how you are telling the story? Uh, is that what is of prime importance, rather than, as you yourself said, that nobody is interested to know what camera you shot? People are, yes. What is that one, one or two questions that people ask you all the time? Uh, most of the time, they, they want to know our region, like, yeah. like how actually uh, are they really like aspects for music and uh, how how I made the film yeah. mostly they are interested you know like how they are living they are, it's fascinated with them it's a, for them it's a very different world and uh, it's also interesting for me how like uh, like how people are in deprivation also how they are looking at life 
that's more interesting. So no matter who the people are, what they're doing, but people are celebrating life. That is what interests the people the most. It's the, yeah, that's also, and it's about the whole film actually. Like finally, whatever t story we're telling, it's the craft, you know, how, like yeah. if you, are, you listen to a song from like Spanish or from a any, any song, like it doesn't matter the language, but you should feel that, you know, it, it just, uh, it's, it, it should work for you. It sh you should love it. It, was, it might be a painting also. So when they are looking at the film, the emotion is universal and somewhere they should relate with it like now you see uh village rocksters has given you individually tremendous amount of recognition mm -hmm. including the highest award in india uh, it has brought the uh, india into the limelight uh, it has also brought assam into the limelight uh, because people have come to know the region now with that uh, are you worried that you will be stereotyped? Oh, here is Rima Das who makes offbeat films, women-centric films, uh, extraordinary different films, alternative cinema. Many people can say many things, but uh, uh, do you worry sometimes that you will be no. stereotyped? No, I'm not because for me, like I always, I love cinema. I'm doing because I love cinema. Yeah. I like to tell a story. I like to create something I like to break my own boundaries I like to challenge myself so that's how like I just want to work and I want to say my story without compromising you know so it, it should not uh, so that's the reason of course like that worries me okay village rockstars it, it loved worldwide uh, and uh, so then of course like next what, what I'm making it, it is always good if you because I'm not making movies of course uh, like I'm not making movies for myself. Of course, first like myself, but then it is for the audience. Yeah. So they have to appreciate it uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, at least more than appreciating like that love, you know, okay, I, I'm like, they can relate, they can like, yeah. they can enjoy the film whatever way. So that worries me, of course. Otherwise, and stereotype and all these things, I these don't... These things doesn't uh, worry you? No, no. No, uh, I mean, uh, can people, people would also like to ask you this question, even I want to ask you this question. Will Rima Das always make movies in this fashion? Small crew, small budget, it cannot be like that always. No, it cannot be. What I have decided that because this is, this is my own journey. My third film now, it is almost finished and it's, it's also like, it's a life changing event for me. Like I learn like, uh, sometimes I feel they are also my characters, my landscape or uh, everything is giving to me. It's a like very give and take relationship we share when we are shooting and uh, the film. So that I somewhere is very, it become very close to my heart. I don't want to leave this process. But uh, sometimes there there is limitation yeah. you know yeah. you cannot explore more uh, like you cannot play with lights you cannot play with uh, camera movement many things are there and i would love to uh, work with professional actors also yeah. sometimes you cannot uh, push your uh, the like non professional actors is very difficult sometimes so definitely what I, I am thinking now, like I will work with people are approaching me, other producers, so I will work with a crew also, and I'll continue this journey so also. So it'll be a parallel thing. You will continue yes. professional with professional actors uh, directing films. You'll also make your films which you most love to make. Yes, so these will be two both. things that will be both. going on. Let's uh, see how it goes. Absolutely, let's see works. how it goes. Yes. And we will also talk about your forthcoming film. Uh, on that note, we go for a short break, stay on. When I come back i shall be talking to rima das about our future projects and lots more welcome back i am in conversation with acclaimed filmmaker rima das uh, rima you indicated that you've almost finished your uh, new film yes. that will be your third film and from what little i understand it is going to be a romantic uh, film. There'll be a lot of romance uh, in the film. Is it true, or where have where have you shot the film? I shot in my village and like nearby, 
neighborhood yeah. and kind of the and the romance i cannot say mm -hmm. it is it is about love and friendship it's about love, love and, and friendship friendship teenage so so this will be your third film a film shot around choi gaon i mean right. that is where you yes. come from on yes. the outskirts of guwahati yes. now third film uh, i mean you don't want to leave your comfort zone as far as location <laughs> location is concerned a kind of actually it, one thing is comfort zone probably and uh, being home mm -hmm. i'm also like kind of you know it is a homesick homesick you like to be with my food, family food cooked <laughs> yes. by your mom <laughs> and yeah. again like i'm not getting enough you know like kind of when i start shooting one film then i see so many stories characters i am not able to get out they are so 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 the moral of moral of, me there. yeah moral yes. of the story if you have enough story at your home or in your backyard why go out yeah they are coming to me it's like coming to me i just need to observe and look at them and mm -hmm. smile and cry and share you know it's is kind of now this uh, are in a position to tell the title of this film the new not film now. not now and yes. but do you think uh, it'll have professional actors this time no Even only one third... professional actor mm -hmm. patija begum okay she is working with us mm -hmm. or otherwise all non professional all actors. again uh, are we going to see some of the same people which we saw in uh, mm. village rock stars one uh, only one only one yes okay so again you have used characters your your cast is from uh, the local community yes and even this time you have got only one truly yes. professional character and that is pakiza pakiza begum. begum and one is also dhiraj mm -hmm. uh dhiraj kumar he he has a small character but yeah he is there okay and this is also your own production it's my own production so this will be your third feature film which yes. is going to be your own production yes. this is going to be your third feature film again which is shot around yes. choigaon yes. and uh, what about the crew don't tell me that it this... is also going to be a one man army again uh, yes me and mostly this time crew is less and less? mostly because last time children they used to uh, kind of around and this time now they are like last stage they are more like coming with us but mostly me and the uh, mallika das my mm -hmm. cousin yeah okay so you 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 shot your first film with a dslr the right. second film where you said uh with a Same. canon dslr canon, again yes. what about this time this is i'm shooting with sony with sony yeah again the yeah. same type of a camera yes kind of but better it's like it is easier to shoot in the night okay so yeah. uh, this is interesting so you you are trying to you're putting yourself to test all the time maybe your fourth film will be <laughs> a mega buck uh, venture I hope so <laughs> no no you said you also said that a uh, lot of producers yes. are approaching you yes. these are for what kind of films are, are can we say these are mainstream movies these are alternative uh, movies what it is i'm very uh, it's my pleasure to say that like they are approaching me but they are not like kind of a um, imposing anything on me they are like i'm free to you know like write my story and work they are like giving me that freedom that you think about it whatever like mm -hmm. if you want to set in assam you want to set in mumbai or out of india wherever like uh, but i just need to are these, work are these but mostly are these corporate producers uh no they are they are producers they're like they are yeah mm -hmm. studio mm -hmm. producer so mm. they are from uh, india and as well as outside india also okay. they just want to work like they are not saying like of course they are not like kind of a big bollywood films or mm -hmm. with musical uh, like uh, it's nothing like that but of course it will be a uh, great uh, better uh, production value right yes. uh, i understand that wherever you go every film festival that you attend every award ceremony uh, film, basically film fests you make it a point to see four to five films uh, maybe right. maybe more sometimes in yes. per day yes. so uh, do you choose or you just uh, watch or just to gain experience or how people are making films or i do choose you I choose. You choose. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because there are many films, and most of the time when my film is there, it's a bit difficult because with travel days are less than we. I I need to give interviews and yeah. other other like yeah. uh, the I need to attend uh, other events. Yeah. 
But I recently I was in Cannes mm -hmm. and I saw almost 30 films. 30 films? <laughs> yes. In how many days? Uh, it is almost uh, 10 days, I think. 10 days, 30 yes. films. Yes. So you had seen at least, at least on an average, year. three <laughs> films a day. Yes, yeah. two to three films a day. Yeah. Yes. No, now, you see, uh, films have taken you around the world. But at the end of the day, you are picking up stories. But does your academic training somewhere has helped you? Because yes. you are a sociologist yes. by training. Social by the way, you are you are you are, you are you have studied sociology. Yes. You did, you did your right. masters in sociology from yes. Pune. You also cleared the net, yes. if I am not mistaken. Yes. Uh, you could well have been a <laughs> sociology professor somewhere. But do you think uh, you know uh, that training has helped you understand issues better? Yes, of course, that uh, whatever I learned, uh, studies and uh, yeah, it, it helped. It always helps because of that, like it was very, at least I can speak in English. <laughs> Otherwise, it like it's very important, I think. I feel like it is not necessary that you can speak English, but it helps you a lot, you know, like you can go and communicate with people. Yeah. Then, because I'm the solo producer, it's my own production hub, house, and we don't have any studio backup yeah. or big producers. Mm -hmm. So when we are like kind of I'm talking and like media and the social media, everything, take giving interviews, like in the world, different festivals, different places, it always helps. So these are the things I think it helps. Yes, absolutely, it yeah. helps. A lot of help. To uh, understand people. Absolutely. Yes. Understanding people is the yes. key. Uh, that is the very, key element. Yeah, what I have learned that making movie is, is less, you know, kind of uh, stressful. You have to learn uh, how to manage people. That is the, I think, biggest absolutely. challenge. Underst managing <laughs> people, <laughs> understand people, that is one of the key elements. Yes. Uh, of making good film, perhaps yeah, first yes. understand the people yes. and then go ahead with your work. Yeah. On, that, on that note, <laughs> we'll go for another short break. Stay on, we'll be right back. <music> Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with filmmaker Rima Das. Uh, Rima Das, uh, I mean, we have discussed about how many films you saw in the Cannes Film Festival, you saw 30 films, yeah. average three. Now, a uh, lot of filmmakers have influenced you. Uh, Wong Kar Wai, Hong Kong based filmmaker, then Majid Majidi, the famous Iranian filmmaker, and our very own Satyajit Ray, yes. uh, even Bargeman's films you, yes. uh, you see. Uh, so, what do you pick up? You're, I'm sure you've seen most of their classics. Uh, what do you look in those? What are some of the things that have greatly influenced you over the years? One thing is craft, how they are like screenplay, how they are taking it. So like, I think that that is the most difficult part for me when because it is it is sometimes easier to create moments and scenes, but when holding together and going towards the climax is the most difficult thing, and uh, that is one thing. And how they are expressing the human, you know, emotions. Yeah in a different story structure and I don't like linear story although like Village Rocks is also it is about a girl uh, dreams to own a guitar but it's not exactly there are many layers you know emotional uh, political mm. layers like that's that's quite interests me I don't like if I am watching a movie and I don't like like after 20 minutes or after 10 minutes, okay, I know the story, what's going to happen, mm, you know. I don't like that. The has to be there. Yeah, so the I always turns, like, twists. yes. So mm. how in a simple story, I am saying now very simple, simple story. But in simple story also how you can, you know, all Capture bring those layers. Capture the attention layers. of the audience. Yes, so to, that to wait till the last me. scene. Right. No, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you very rightly said about craft, you know, Wong Kar Wai's films, for example, very fast-paced, love, romance, but characters are very short-lived. Suddenly you go to some other, mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm. saying something, you're going to say something totally different right. in the same story. Yes. You can come back to the original plot. Yes. Uh, that's what uh, uh, you're also, in yes. a way, saying. Yes, yes, yeah, uh, I unpredictable. like that. Unpredictable, that yes. unpredictability. Yes, I always love that. 
I like to be when I write my stories, when I'm working, I like to because it's a very uh, the if I see the journey like I'm today I'm coming from Choigao and meeting you, it's never is one line you know something or other things keep happening. We are waiting for the lift, lift is not there sitting there. So this things like I don't like that one line so no. a life is so mm. it takes different no uh, no no way. Uh, you, are, you are you are too film old right. you are about to make your third film yes but people around the world you have back picked up so many awards around the world you are so much in the media that people will uh, uh, ask you now for advice <laughs> uh, 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 I mean I'm assuming have you faced this Yes. You face this. Yes. And how do you deal with that? Live your dreams. <laughs> you just like do it. I always say that you just do it and uh, it's a very important thing to imagine. Imagine, take responsibility, work hard and yeah, just don't lose that um, excitement of uh, like opportunities yeah. and possibilities. That's it, I think. That's what I am doing. So I can just tell them what I have experienced, that it, it's for me till now, like I think I'm a baby till now, like what I'm doing, I need to much more explore. I have not worked with a big camera, big setup, yeah. many, yeah. many things. So I can just say the spirit of life, you know, how like you really can achieve it. Because Absolutely. when I started, many people used to tell me like, it's so difficult to crack a big festival. But we worked in a very small setup. And uh, when we were in Toronto, then it was around like more than 8,000 films. So we, we were there, you know, within like 280 films yeah. around the world. So it, it is like that the possibility it is possible no, uh, that's it. absolutely it's yeah. possible yeah. now it is very important for a creative person to keep his or her feet on the firmly on the ground you cannot be carried away by yeah. fame you cannot be carried away by the awards <laughs> at the end of the day you are as good as your last film what you are doing now what will be your next yes, film you will yes. be critical focus with right. with your swarna kamal with your, all the top awards that you have picked up around the world comes responsibility. Yeah. I am 100% sure you are very much aware. Are you conscious of that all the time now? No, no, no. No? No, no, no. How are you, how are you coping with uh, this uh, fame? Um, fame is only thing is like you have to be focused every time. It's very less me time. Many friends are uh, angry. People things I become you know like I don't give time or this but I only know like how much I'm handling my Facebook WhatsApp so many messages yeah. so mail so many messages mm. to handle so it's it's like from national hour thing I'm not getting time to celebrate uh, yesterday also I was at my mama's house yeah. they are like when you are giving us yeah. party mm. but I am I don't have the time no no so no, no, like no, that. no 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 uh, you see yeah. Uh, you're, you, you come from a very simple family, yes. uh, well known in your locality, your mm -hmm. dad, uh, your, your father is a teacher, yes, yes. Uh, so very, very respectable family. My point is, how are the people in Choigao, your village, how are they taking that one of their, uh, you know, daughters, mm -hmm. one of their sisters uh, has achieved so much, how are they treating you are they treating they are you the treating same they treating me the same, same. and mm. most of the people they are just happy they share sharing their blessings and love mm. and otherwise i normally i mm. keep traveling mm. i'm still working just like village rockstars sometimes yeah. in the road in school or somewhere mm. Mm. so yeah it's it's what nothing about, much changed what about acting <laughs> acting me yeah uh, i want to act but uh, now I, I saw I'm in love creating something so uh, I don't know when but the maybe uh, after actor, my third actor, film actor, <laughs> director, producer uh, after my third film probably I will but I want to work because like it is my first dream and before I die definitely I would love to work but but honestly speaking, like ninety percent of my focus is in direction. 90%. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, so 90, you are, you, only ten percent. So you are a very focused person, obviously. 
Because be. like kind of a, the way you said I studied, I, I was from my childhood, I was so much interested in acting. But when I started directing, I felt like, oh, this is it I want to do. What about Bollywood? Bollywood is maybe I'd love to one day, but not, uh, I'm not like, it's not my dream. But I would like to try my hand at least making one film, but it's not my dream. It's, but Indian cinema is definitely your dream. Yes, yes. Indian cinema trying different kind of stories. Now, Village Oxus is a more simple film. Now, yeah. this one is because teenage love and friendship, everything. This one is a bit complicated. So next time, I would love to love to try something else absolutely we'll talk more in details about your third film uh, film yes. and uh, rima das uh, we wish you all the luck thank you so and much. more to come from you thank more you. power to you thank, thank you so you. much for being on my show pleasure pleasure thank you see you again yeah thank you